welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to give a brief introduction to cable management. So for those of you that are putting together a new build, a new computer, and you want to do it yourself for the first time, or maybe you've done this before many times, um, I want to go through an example of a PC that I've put together here. Uh, this one here, as you can see, has quite a bit of stuff already installed, but nothing out of the ordinary. Only one thing that I've added really that uh, makes this a little bit beyond the basics and that's uh, an LED fan controller at the front and an additional fan and some some more um, fan controllers basically so that way I can uh, have the status and uh, speed and temperature of uh, all the components that I want and have running in this uh, PC but one of the most important things about cable management is to start simple right and if you can install a power supply that is modular so that is key so this one here that I'm using is a modular power supply so that means that you can pick and choose the cables that you need you don't get forced to have this whole massive wad of cables I'm only using three one is the PCI Express slot for the video card the other one is for the hard drive and the uh, CD-ROM drive or DVD combo drive and the other one is just for all the uh, fans the uh, fan controller and all of that other stuff that I have uh, installed on the front panel. If I flip it around, this is how the case looks when it's done. Okay, so basically, to show you everything step by step would take a very long time because this does take, you know, a few hours to do. So obviously, we don't have enough time to show you step by step on how I did everything. But let's go through it, starting with the section here at the bottom. Okay, so this is where your power supply cables are going to come out. And uh, on most motherboards that uh, have cable management support, you're going to get an opening, a hole at the bottom, so that way you can bring the uh, motherboard and power cables through there. And that's where you want to do it. Now, there's also going to be twist ties. There's going to be included with your case, if you're lucky, uh, twist ties, so that way you can keep bundled the cables, right? And they're not dangling and loose. And that's what I've tried to do here. I've got my SATA cables coming also from the motherboard coming through that same hole. And I've attached some uh, twist ties to keep it neatly tucked to the side and they don't interfere. And that's the other thing that you want to think about is how much do you plan you're going to be installing on top later in the future? Will you be installing more drives, uh, for example? And if you are, then you want to keep that space kind of clear and clean. Uh, you can always tuck additional cables that come with the case along the top and that's what I've done I have the cables going along the top and along the sides here now because I installed this LED fan controller it does come with many many more power cables and uh, thermometer cables so uh, it looks a little bit more messier here on this side because of that normally you wouldn't have all of that there that little bundle that I've hidden in the corner because of this LED fan controller it has more requirements for me to um, split and attach cables to control all the fans okay but the main thing is that it's flush it's in behind the uh, the case so that way when you put the cover it doesn't stick out okay and it doesn't interfere with the cover I can install the cover hassle free the other thing is like I mentioned the drives when you install a drive here you want to have that open and also your optical drives you don't want to um, accidentally block those holes or use twist ties on those holes because you might be installing a DVD drive there one day right uh, so you never know now looking at from the inside of where I have the DVD drive and that LED fan controller you can see that there's additional cables coming out of here because of what I installed on top so all of these cables that you see here add to the congestion add to having more uh, cable management um, to do so more hard work but with the case the case by default comes with the reset the power you know the the IO ports at the front of the case all of those cables have to go somewhere in this case I've got the fan cable going along the top and along the uh, sides in the center there you can see that I've got some some cables as well and um, it's up to you it's your preference how you want to uh, attached to the case but at the end of the day you're not going to stare the other side you're going to stare at this side right this is the side that you're going to be looking at this is the side that you want clean and um, hassle free with no cables all over the place because you want the airflow to come through and um, having cables gets in the way also adds to to collecting dust and also 
it uh, gets in the way when you want to install stuff, right? So you want to have it clean and easy to access. So as you can see here, I've got um, minimal interference from cables as much as possible considering the additional uh, fan controllers and those cables that I installed. So that gives you a good idea basically on how I set up my rigs. I've got my USB I.O. cable there. I've got the audio cable that you can see at the bottom there attached to the motherboard. And um, and that's it. And I just installed this custom fan here at the bottom and have that attached going out through the back as well. So not nothing really out of the ordinary here. But the main thing is that uh, this power supply is modular and that's what's really helped. Otherwise, you'd have to bundle your cables and keep them here at the bottom hidden basically you can't just stuff everything at the back of the uh, of the motherboard tray because it just won't fit so there you go i hope this gives you an idea on cable management to get you started and uh thank you for watching